So you want to be a truck driver. How do you get there? What training do you need? Let's find out. Every single day, I'm gone. Made the decision to be a truck driver you probably have already kind of looked into some training now there's several different types of training for a CDL license some people will go to a company I'm not gonna list any companies off in the video but some of them will go to a company and say hey do you offer training and they say yep it's three weeks four weeks whatever you're gonna go to this state we're gonna pay you this amount it's gonna be a small little amount a very small amount believe me I looked into it it was like $300 a week from company A. I'm like, I can't survive on that. It was a three-week program. You know, you, you pay to get there. You pay for your food. They just put you in a hotel, and you're sharing a room with a whole bunch of other people, and you're there for three weeks. It's like six days a week training, morning to night. It's just, now, I'm not, if that works for you, for, you know, an expedited training like that, by all means, I'm not bashing it. But for my situation, that was not the case. Or you can go to an actual CDL school. Now there's hundreds out there. Do your research, find out which ones are around you, which ones are good. Talk to fellow truck drivers, see kind of what their, their thoughts are on different schools. Um, and believe me, it's not like you just walk in and boom, you get a license and here's the keys to a truck. Go take that trailer to destination A. You're probably, for like a, a weekday thing, if you're wanting to go four or five days a week, you're probably going to be looking around somewhere between 12 to 16 weeks, give or take, depending on your state and your area. Let's just say you're going to have a 12-week program. It's probably going to be split into two chunks of six weeks. Your first six weeks, you're going to be in the classroom. You're gonna be getting all this information. You're gonna be going through the CDL handbook. You're gonna go through the FMCSR and you're gonna talk about CSA scores and you're gonna talk about hazmat. You're gonna talk about tanker, combination vehicles, doubles and triples, different laws, DOT regulation, a lot of different stuff. But it's gonna be boring. It's gonna be long. It's gonna drag on and be like, oh, this is, I just wanna drive a truck. But this is what you have to go through to get there. You're gonna have to go and get a DOT physical done. You're gonna have to get your permit from um, you know, the BMV. You're gonna have to go down there and take their tests and stuff, and you're gonna have to have all of that stuff, and it's, it's tiring. It'll take a toll on you. But then, then, there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Now you're seeing some seat time. Now you're seeing some driving action. You're probably gonna be on a lot somewhere, only allowed to have first gear in reverse, no fuel you know don't press that accelerator at all while you're in here you're gonna back up you're gonna pull forward you're gonna do some maneuverability you're gonna do different docking and stuff like that you might have like a side side parallel blind side parallel right offset left offset an alley might be on the blind side 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 you never know you're gonna have straight line backing if you can't straight line back a trailer in my eyes you can't do hardly any other maneuvers you know that's just the way I personally feel about it you are going to get frustrated you're gonna get upset you're gonna get angry you're you're gonna go through it there's gonna be a lot of emotions pre-trip oh we haven't even talked about the pre-trip yet <coughs> this pre-trip no joke is like what 117 things that you have to remember starting from when you walk up to the tractor all the way to the DOT bumper on the trailer a lot of things under the hood, a lot of things in cab, you get your brake test. Now, go off of what your school suggests. Okay, don't just start YouTubing a whole bunch of videos for a, uh, a brake test and things like that. They may have it a specific way that they want you to do it. You're gonna talk to a lot of different recruiters. Recruiters should be coming to your school you know, a couple times a week. You're gonna be talking to them, and uh, that's where I got this hat from. Schneider sent this to me. I do not drive for Schneider. Okay, but I love this hat. It fits perfectly. It's got the flag on the rim. Love it. You're gonna get a lot of pens. But either way, study that pre-trip. Oh, study that pre-trip. You can't pre-trip, you can't drive. Then you're gonna get out on the road. You might go bobtail, might go, you know, without a trailer. 
for a day, driving around, going through the shift patterns. Um, then you might go with a trailer on another day. You're going to do some more maneuverability, possibly. Uh, there's going to be a lot going on. A lot going on. But it is well worth it. It really is. Now, I'm not here to tell you, oh, here's what to expect your first year in trucking. You know, I'm going to leave that for the veteran drivers. I'm going to leave that for the the drivers who've been driving for 15, 20 years. You know, they have videos out telling you exactly what to expect. And they're going to have more information than, than what I can give you. Look, it's stressful. Okay? You're going to go through a lot of emotions. You know, you're going to be happy. You're going to be frustrated you're gonna be angry you're gonna be sad I mean it can be a mess okay you just got to keep pushing through you're making a good decision here the trucking industry can always use people you will never be without a job that's for sure and the money's out there you just got to go get it and it doesn't hurt to start thinking now like what do I want do I want to be some like regional dry van and be home on the weekends or do I want to be OTR and be gone for two three weeks home for two three days do I want to be home daily do I need to be home daily I mean you got to start thinking about this stuff do I want to haul flatbed do I want to haul you know do I want to hop up on that trailer and start tarping and strapping all the time do I want to haul tanker do I want to do hazmat okay get all your endorsements for your permit that, that that's that's the best way to do it when you go get a job you can haul tanker but it might not be hazmat you might go with a company doing flatbed they might be pre-tarped and uh, pre-strapped already for you <coughs> so it's not too bad you know I, I do dry van you know just a standard 53 foot trailer um, sometimes you know you can go to reefer stuff like that which is the refrigerated but you know just find out what you want find out what works best for you and then go for it other than that best of luck to you you know our, you know the veteran drivers you know they're they're gonna be supportive to help you out if they need to I'm sure I know I'm here to support you I'm here to motivate you if you need a little motivation let me know you know leave a comment I'll post a video I'll, I'll get you motivated I'll get you going yeah other than that it's kind of what to expect a lot of class time and then a lot of just crawling you know two miles an hour around this lot and if it's if you go in the winter time you get some good experience driving in that stuff but it also makes it very hard because certain times the trucks aren't gonna start you're gonna try to back under a trailer you're gonna get stuck you're gonna spin your wheels it's frustrating but welcome to the real world you know that's the way it goes so with that good luck keep pushing through study that pre-trip all right thanks for watching